Hey, what's up? This is Nergal from Behemoth, and you're watching Rock and Metal News. Fuck you. Hey guys, this is Ron from YouTube's Rock Metal News. With a Rock Metal News update, Galactic Pegasus are working on their second EP in Vancouver, Canada, and have released a st studio update as Dallas tracks the drums. You can check that out in the link in the description. After nearly, nearly a decade, Sweden's Beseech will return to the music scene in 2014. Find out more info on December the 24th at beseech.se. Check out the trailer and the link in the description. And following their short appearance at Vakken Open Air 2013 uh, due to Lemmy's poor health, Motorhead will return for the 25th anniversary in Vakken, Germany. The festival is held from July the 31st to August the 2nd. That is great news. And Motley Crue bassist Nikki Six has given a recent update. He says, good news, all the songs on the new 6AM are finally finished uh, being written. I just played my last bass parts today and DJ is finishing guitars this weekend. We put every ounce of our souls into this album and we can't wait to share it with you in 2014. And Sabotage vocalist John Oliva finished his Storytellers East Coast solo tour December 14th at the State Theater in St. Petersburg, Florida. Check out fan film video uh, of Tonight He Grins and another song as well in the links in the description. And the Brutal, Brutal Assault Festival 2014 has released a list of many bands to appear. The festival takes place in the Czech Republic uh, from August the 6th to 9th. Some of the bands appearing are Catatonia, Venom, Sodom, uh, there's Amon Marth, My Dying Bride, Down, Children of Bodom, Obituary, Bring Me the Horizon, uh, and a ton of bands. You can check out most of them in the l description of the video. And Ex Mortis have revealed the cover art for their new album, Slave to the Sword, which is out in North America on February the 4th. They have also released the new title track, which is the first single also titled Slave to the Sword. You can check that out in the link in the description. And finally, Slash is in the studio with his solo band, Miles Kennedy and the Conspirators, as they are recording their third album. Slash recently stated as an update, 16 tracks worked up and completed, plus an instrumental, question mark, had to decide what goes on the record. What will be bonus tracks? It's all cool. It's going to be a heavy record. So that sounds good. Can't wait to hear that. This is Ron from YouTube's Rock Metal News. Thanks for tuning in.